with the salty cucumber tomatoes in and stir stir and just boiling it and eating it just like that we're going to do something with a bit of a twist so we're going to do um salt of mud and bird with the caramelized onions um on a crispy wafer with a bit of mescaline um so we're going to be cooking the boiling the mud and bird and we're, i'm going to teach you how to make your own caramelized onions rather than buying it it's way better so this is what i have so here i start with my salted bird um i've got half a spoon of butter i've got half a medium sized onion I've got a quarter of a cup of brown sugar and I've got half a cup of balsamic vinegar. So this here, these four ingredients here is going to be your caramelized onions. Um, and to plate it up, we've got wonton wrappers. Um, I've got some capsicums and some mescaline. Um, if you've got red cabbage, use that for color and it um, also gives it a nice flavor too. So now we're going to start by cooking. Boil it once, or if you don't like too much salt, boil it twice. Um, or if you've got birds that have been in the bucket for a couple of years, you can boil them a couple, um, three times instead. But these are from only last week, so we're only going to boil it once. And what I'm going to do is I've just got water in there, no salt because you're trying to get rid of the salt. Just got in there, going to turn that on. Notice also with the salted birds is that they sort of change colour a bit because that's the that's the salt brine getting into the meat. Um, let's put the salt on there. And not only that, but they've also been gutted, so you don't need to cut it open. You don't need to gut it. All that's been done. What you have to do is pop that baby into a pot of water and let it do its thing. All right. Now we get a pan. And I'm going to turn that on, and we're going to do our caramelized onions. So in the pan, we're going to chuck in our butter. Let's heat it up a bit, and we're going to put in our onions. So what you want to do is you just want to fry up the onions um, until they go soft. And once they go soft, you um, then want to put in your balsamic vinegar and your brown sugar. Alright, so now I'm going to put in my brown sugar and in my balsamic vinegar. Once we, um, so we've got the onions, the butter, the um, brown sugar and the balsamic vinegar just bubbling away there. Right, so this has been um, five minutes now. It's reduced in size, um, probably by half actually, and that's what you want. All those bubbles, that's the caramelization of the brown sugar. So that's what's gonna make it sticky. So you take that off. I wouldn't do any more than that. Um, then you just put it over into a bowl, set it aside. Set that aside and that's just gonna cool and that will go nice and thick and sticky. So that's what we're gonna use to garnish our bird. And you can use it for anything. You can use it in, on your steak. Um, yeah, use it as a dip on an interpesto platter. Right, Fano, um, just check it on the bird. This has been boiling away for the last 30 minutes. Um, and I wouldn't cook it for much longer. It's only one bird. So I'm going to take that out and we're going to drain it off.
probably even save that, the water that you've just cooked your bird in. Chuck in some potatoes, some cabbage, chuck in some pork bones if you wanted to. Here is it. Here is it. Birds are cooked. It's got a darker meat in there. It's a gamey type of meat. It's really good. Uh, it's really hot. So I said, if you don't like salt, drain out the water, put it back in the pot with some fresh water. Bring it to the boil and boil it for another 20 minutes to 30 minutes. Just to get the right sort of salt okay. tints in there that you like. So I'm gonna get my money bird, let it cool down for a wee bit. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take all the meat off. Let's take the skin off. Put the skin aside. Um it's nice if you want to crisp it up. It's really good, even in a frying pan. But what I'm doing for this dish is I'm just going to take, I just want the meat. So I'm going to take all the meat off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get my wafers, my long time wafers. If you don't have long time wafers, man, just use your um, tortilla wraps, tortilla wraps. Everyone's got those in the fridge, generally. Got kids, I always have them. I just cut them into quarters. Does the same sort of same principle. You just chuck your wafers in there. Um, and then up on this side. If you don't have a deep fryer, because we only recently got one, you can use a pan, put a bit of oil in there. Bit of fat, a bit of white. I mean, you can even render down the fat off the mud birds. That would be nice. So it's only going to take um, not all on at all actually. It's already starting to bubble up. See that? See that nice and crispy. assembling our dish. Okay, so we're going to get these wafers, so they've been strained off. Put them on. Okay. And get some of our whiskey line. Chuck that on each wafer. Just a little bit creamy. Red cabbage, um, I'd put that on there now. Um, but I've got some capsicum, I've just got a couple of slices of that on there. We've got mutton bird, so shred it up. So, mutton bird on there. These are your caramelized onions. Now they've only been sitting there for about what five, no more than ten minutes, and it's already getting, you know, quite thick and syrupy. So we just want to get some of our caramelized onions, chuck that on the top there. So now what this is gonna do is the onion and the sugar from the caramelized onions is gonna complement the salt that's in the mutton bird. That's what you want. 
you've got the freshness of your salad that's in there and that wafer just gives it a nice crisp texture Even much goes on there if you want, but for that fun, salted mud and bird done with a twist and a nice wee crispy wafer with a bit of mescaline, and we've made our own caramelized onions. Enjoy.